hosting a successful summit. So think about revenue potential and not only a host a successful summit, uh, but really also monetize effectively, adding new lucrative income streams to your business. Don't you want to have that money tree grow? Even if your money tree is now a crypto tree, hey, we've got to expand with the future. And that's what this is about, looking at the next platform of where virtual summits are going. Envisioning having a repeatable system. Wow, you could set it and forget it. Have a strategy, one and done. That's what what I collaborate with people that want to set it and forget it and know that it's rinse and repeat, but doesn't have to be so boring, but we can make it happen. And once you have that strategy there, there's no more uncertainty about what you're doing. And your crowd knows that you're going to be there again. So you can have some pain points. Gosh knows I do too. There's challenges, there's difficulties, right? You face those difficulties. Have you experienced that stress of a summit? Where am I getting leads? Somebody's telling me go here. Somebody's telling me go there. But what happened? Where do you go? You got to have. You got to face those difficulties and talk about it in the room. Yes, we do. It's hard. We all experience these pain points, but we're here to face it together. And often there's uncertainty about finding, engaging, and well-known speakers. You're not all going to get Tony Robbins. Maybe you'll get his crowd, but are they going to support you? Do you have this great draw? You've got to invite speakers. You've got to invite engaging speakers. You may have a new speaker, but you also want to balance your summit with an engaging speaker. And it can be a little hard. That can be a pain point. And let me know if you've experienced this. Have you tried to get some engaging people on your summit? Somebody that has draw? Maybe you've got to pay them. Maybe you've got to collaborate and joint venture with you. It does say that, you know what? You've experienced that trouble and trauma too. Who are you inviting? Are you personally inviting these people to network with you uh, and collaborate with you one-to-one? Are you having that collaboration call? And if you do, are they reciprocating? It's very important that maybe you don't want to be the speaker, but you've got to reciprocate to people that are inviting you and promoting and monetizing that, right? So let's look at the next step. Promoting, monetizing, and profiting a virtual summit requires a real strategic approach. It requires a roadmap that you've got to use every time because it works right? Your car's got four wheels. It's got an engine. Every car's got four wheels. It's got an engine unless it's a flying car. But you've got to remember that there has to be a strategy. And if it's too confusing and you're always looking and you've got the FOMO out there and you've got the fear of losing, not of missing out, right? And there's a squirrel attack. If you're not focused, you're not going to get anything done and you're not taking the proper action. What you're really doing is in another way, you are truly procrastinating because the muse is not working with you. Maybe you've tried other platforms like Zoom. Have you tried that? I know I have. We're using it right now. It's got functionality and talking about the fact that something that has a strategy and that you're using it again and again, you understand the functionality, you understand the scalability, but there's another way to move beyond Zoom and there's other platforms that you can use. And that's the next iteration of Web3, right? And I'm not going to get too technical here and send you guys down a rabbit hole, but what's the next thing, right? That is virtual reality. And there is, it's the next iteration on the web. And it is not as ineffective as it was. It's a one and done, click the link and move to your world and your space. What we need to, we can't just stay comfortable. We have to learn what is next. 